The main Cybertruck candidates have been revealed with design changes and upcoming delivery schedules that'll begin for the first time in October, promising to bring surprises from the smallest details compared to the prototype in 2019. The Giga Texas factory coming into operation will be the initial sign of this major delivery event for Tesla. History's shown that initial reveals that are often considered failures can sometimes create multiple successes. And this excitement and anticipation, like Apple's iPhone, has not diminished the enthusiasm of its vast user base, but could also make this another chapter in Tesla's fascinating journey. So finally, what are the newly revealed changes? Join us to find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about everything about Tesla. Before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Not long ago, Elon Musk revealed that the first version to hit the market would be the Cybertruck Performance when he said he had the opportunity to test Cybertruck performance with a range of up to 500 miles according to specifications that Tesla offers and the ability to speed up from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 2.9 seconds. These changes to the Cybertruck's final design before the delivery date will clearly inform Tesla's plans for later this year, but quantities may be initially very limited and deliveries to showrooms only all around the world. Volume production will be implemented at a time in early 2024 when Tesla can overcome the challenges. So, what changes have been made in this upcoming version? Tesla appears to be preparing for the Cybertruck delivery event by providing costumes for employees during the event and is expected to make some announcements at any time. However, the set date still depends on decisions from national vehicle safety agencies. In addition, some extremely small details in the exterior design have been added. If we don't pay closer attention, we probably won't notice until the Cybertruck's delivered. It looks like the Tesla Cybertruck's equipped with giant recovery hooks at the front. This has been hinted at in recent videos and images of the all-electric pickup truck shared online. This particular vehicle has parts that have been largely invisible in previous sightings. As it passed by, it was clear that the tow hook was exposed at the front. We certainly have questions about whether these recovery points are durable enough to be used as mounts for towing attachments like snow plows and the like. However, rear hooks have not appeared so far, but we assume the rear recovery hooks will come with replacement trim covers to clean up that area, so it doesn't look too sloppy like the device we saw when the rear windshield was removed. It would be more awesome and impressive if they were activated via the touchscreen, which is not necessary anyway. These new Cybertrucks appear to be more well-built than their previous prototypes. We haven't seen any marks on the Tonu cover like they were damaged in the previous prototypes released and now dispelling doubts about the design not being carefully thought out. It's designed with stainless steel and there's always dirt stuck on this surface. When the Tonu cover is open, the interior bed dome lighting systems equipped to Cybertruck makes it look more like a spaceship. Do you really think it's useful for night activities or that it could be a good space for those whose wives let them sleep outside while they're trying to buy the Cybertruck? One of the revealed photos gives us a closer look at the back of the Cybertruck, which appears to be significantly scaled down compared to the original concept revealed back in 2019. Among them are some of the unusual design choices and that may raise eyebrows among truck owners. These aren't production trucks, but rather pre-production vehicles, or what Silicon Valley calls release candidates or beta builds. But we can tell that the production model's bed significantly smaller than the concepts. One of the first details you'll notice is a panel on the bed floor that has bolt holes with a collapsible latch for a large spare tray. You'll then notice the sloping bed sides, which are narrower at the bottom than the top as opposed to the vertical sides in the previous prototype. This will limit the load width, which can also put pressure on the bed rails. However, the bed's lined with a protective layer. The only pickups with 8-foot beds today are extra large with box sides measuring 6 feet long. Most pickup truck drivers use them for commuting, and a 9,000-pound electric vehicle like a Hummer will consume more energy than a small car. We realize that the bigger thing seems to be killing us. One of the revelations that drivers have come across is that the steering yoke can be replaced by a traditional steering wheel because there are still too many conflicting options between using a wire steering yoke and a steering wheel. 
This will create diversity in customer choices. The Cybertruck has generated a lot of debate in recent weeks, as pre-production versions of the electric pickup truck have been spotted multiple times in the wild before its official launch as they take impressive turns on the road without having to resort to rest cadence. These impressive turns of the Cybertruck are because it uses a rear-wheel drive system, especially in the performance version that Elon Musk revealed to Tri-Motor. In the new reveal videos that appeared on X, you can see the Cybertruck's rear wheels turn very slightly to make the vehicle's turning radius narrower than when driving with just the front wheels. It also makes us mistakenly think that it was the front wheel of the Cybertruck. Fortunately, the difference in the aerodynamic covers helped us recognize it. This will help Cybertruck possess low-speed maneuverability when the rear wheels rotate in the opposite direction to the front wheels to facilitate movements such as parking or turning. Rear wheel steering allows for shorter turning circles and is also useful when maneuvering in tight roundabouts or parking garages. Tesla's promised some unique features with the Cybertruck along with rear wheel drive. For example, the car doesn't have any stainless steel exterior door handles and its enhanced suspension was spotted on several versions in the weeks leading up to the delivery date. How valuable will these new features make the Cybertruck? One finding when we pay attention to the recovery hook section is that the front camera appears at the top of the Cybertruck. This camera will support Cybertruck's fully self-driving system. Continuous software updates from Tesla will probably be an indispensable part of making future Tesla models more valuable than ever, especially Cybertruck. Some recent images show that Tesla seems to be using LiDAR technology installed on the roof of the car. Tesla appears to be reusing this technology to calibrate the FSD camera before releasing Cybertruck. Unlike most other companies trying to build the first fully self-driving car, Tesla famously doesn't use LiDAR relying solely on cameras to understand the real world. While LiDAR isn't necessary in the long run, this method of data collection is extremely important because it can give a very accurate representation of the world. This is especially good in the case of weather conditions when LiDAR can produce extremely accurate data. However, after calibration, it's likely that Tesla will return to using cameras on the production version of the truck. Finally, FSD V12 will be a significant advancement when used on Cybertruck in combination with the supercomputer network that Tesla's developed. It'll replace command codes with neural networks and improve cognition to effectively plan and control driving patterns. To put it more simply, Tesla's equipping its car models with an intelligent mind, which will be a more reliable driver than the lines of code that control the self-driving system. In addition, integrating language and driving models and enabling new capabilities such as voice commands and personal recognition will help personalize products in the future. Tesla's improving their full self-driving system by collecting more data, finely tuning the subnet, and tuning the perception system. The use of LiDAR is certainly a good idea to shorten the time for the release of self-driving capabilities, especially around the time Cybertruck's due to be delivered. With Tesla's Cybertruck just weeks away from delivery, its unique overall design will define its customer base. What Rivian CEO RJ Skirinj said is he doesn't see a lot of overlap with current models from different manufacturers like GM, Ford, or Rivian. While Ford and GM have made some notable achievements like the F-150 Lightning or the GMC Hummer EV, both are in the early iterations of existing gas-powered pickup trucks. Skirinj praised the Cybertruck saying, It's great that such a product exists in the world. We also clearly see that the customer target Cybertruck targets is completely different from its competitors because diversity in the market is what Tesla pursues. The Cybertruck delivery event is expected to include deliveries to Tesla employees, but more importantly, the estimated 2 million pre-orders will eventually have the Cybertruck specs and production price, which are expected to vary. Changed significantly since the initial announcement four years ago, Tesla's expected to produce 375,000 Cybertrucks per year. However, the Cybertruck production candidate that Musk drove encountered some installation and finishing problems, causing Elon to write a company-wide email calling on employees to improve Cybertruck's design tolerance to less than 10 microns. To be able to achieve this goal soon, Tesla's developed a number of specific measures to shorten production time and costs. The 16,000-ton gigapress that Tesla revealed also promises to revolutionize the electric car manufacturing industry in general, and the Cybertruck in particular. It's a major breakthrough with their gigapress technology, which simplifies the manufacturing process and makes it easy to cast large undercarriage sections. One of the difficulties Tesla encountered was the results of extensive crash testing. If the first approval doesn't go well, they'll need to make some changes to respond in the best possible way. Either way, we are very close to getting the Cybertruck to the garage someday in 2024. How would Tesla's supercharger affect the Cybertruck in the EV market? 
A major shift in the electric vehicle industry is making charging points a key factor when choosing which electric vehicle to buy or getting the most out of the vehicle you already own. Among the significant impacts of Tesla's standard charger, nine major electric vehicle brands said they'd switch to Tesla charging ports. Ford, GM, Rivian, Volvo, Polestar, Mercedes, Nissan, Honda, and most recently, Jaguar. Starting in 2024, drivers will have access to 12,000 Tesla superchargers via converters. Each brand will display available Tesla chargers in their mobile app and through the vehicle's navigation system. In 2025, this will be even more serious as these brands will integrate Tesla-backed North American Charger Standard or NACS ports directly into their vehicle. Charging at a combined charging system or CCS station will then require an adapter. Tesla has been testing ways to bring its technology and charging network to non-Tesla drivers for years. In Europe, they've opened up many superchargers to non-Teslas via a converter. In the US, efforts have been piecemeal. In October 2022, it released a Level 2 home charger that works with non-Tesla devices. However, the US supercharger network was still exclusive to Tesla drivers at the time because it required the use of Tesla's proprietary gateway, a quite impressive number in the electric vehicle market when 38% of public fast chargers in the US are currently superchargers with a total of up to 12,000 V3 superchargers. Many electric vehicles have found Tesla superchargers to be more reliable than CCS chargers. They seem to be everywhere, grocery stores, rest stops, and shopping malls. This helps owners of Cybertruck, which has had a fairly long operating range, to easily find a charging station when needed and continue their journey without having to spend too much time on charging. New Zealand is the latest market where Tesla is launching a non-Tesla supercharger pilot, allowing other EVs to be recharged at superchargers. Australia was included in the program in early 2023, and now it looks like more than half of about 30 locations are open to all electric vehicles. The non-Tesla supercharger pilot program also accelerated in the US, where Tesla deployed the Magic Dock integrated CCS1 inverter that was necessary due to differences between Tesla and non-Tesla EV charging inputs of Tesla in several new states. That's still just a small fraction of the total size of the network, but it's a sign that the program's expanding and has the potential to improve the charging experience for non-Tesla EV users and the high reliability of the supercharger. As we said previously, Magic Dock deployments are expected to increase in the U.S. as compatibility with the CCS1 charger connectors required for public funding of new fast charging stations under the program National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula. In the long term, the main focus will be on North American charging standard developed by Tesla and will be adopted by other electric vehicle manufacturers in North America such as the US and Canada starting in 2025. So what do you think about this last change and what are your wishes when you finally own a Cybertruck? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking that bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much, and until next time, stay safe and God bless.